Hey, Justin Bryant here. We're going to go over video two of my 30 network marketing mistakes that you need to avoid. And I'm going to talk about uh, how to stay focused in this one. A lot of people get distracted too easily. They, uh, they're kind of scatterbrained almost when they uh, do their work, especially when you're at home and you're surrounded by distractions. And, you know, you got your TV, you get your iPhone or whatever you know right next to you and it's hard to stay focused and just get your work done so let me go over a few ways to um, do a good job of uh, staying focused and uh, getting a lot of work done efficiently first thing I want to talk about is obviously you have to eliminate distractions um, distractions I would say definitely include you know smartphones, your uh, TV, your, uh, you know, people that work on the computer also can get distracted by Facebook and things like that. Now, you can get work done on Facebook, especially in network marketing, but you also have to avoid getting caught up in news and, um, you know, I used to get uh, caught up in like Yahoo news and stuff. When I go to log into my email, I'd see that Yahoo news you know slider thing on the home screen and I'd get I get caught up in that and you know I woke up and it's two hours later and I didn't get anything done so you know it took me a while to figure out how to really stay focused and so I wanted to help you guys um, you know take a shortcut and not have to deal with that but uh, one thing that really helped me was putting my cell phone in the other room while um, working in my home office so I would leave my cell phone in a different room you know I'd close the door and um, you know it helped me really stay on track a lot better uh, let's see here okay know exactly what you're working for um, obviously you need to have a clear intention before you do any work really because you know if you don't know why you're doing it then why you know you're not going to do it let's be honest you're not going to actually sit down and uh, stay focused on your work if you don't even if you think hey you know why am I even doing this in the first place you need to have a specific goal to work, work towards and it needs to be something that's really going to bring fulfillment to your life really have a big impact on you and uh, make you want to work Uh, multitasking is for failures basically uh, if you try to do two or three things at the same time or even more you know well, hey you want to go texting and do your work and watch you know your favorite show at the same time you might think hey I'm knocking out all these things at the same time I'm being productive but you're really not because your work is actually gonna take a big um, drop in quality and it's not going to get near as many results as you'd like and uh, your following is not going to be very good so you want to definitely just focus on one thing at a time when you're working in uh, network marketing or any kind of home based business uh, being half asleep definitely won't help either if you're uh, too tired or if you tried to pull an all-nighter and party all night you're not gonna get much done the next day because all you're really gonna want to do is uh, sleep and you're only gonna be thinking about that bed all day long so you know you're at home you'll be tempted to go in there and just you know fall asleep and sleep all day long and then you won't get anything done you won't make any money you know you hear this a lot and you're probably sick of it probably I probably sound like a broken record but you do have to get some sleep you know I don't different people require different amounts of sleep some people can get by with five hours of sleep a day some people need ten you know just kinda of depends on your situation but you know make sure you get it one way or the other eat a lot of fruit now that now you're probably thinking you know this is supposed to be a marketing video why are you talking about diets and things like that but to really get your marketing and your um, get your best results and stay on track, keep focused and everything, uh, you want to have that energy. The energy is going to come from what you put in your body. And what you put in your body is obviously going to be very dependent on your diet. 
So I'm not going to sit here and tell you to go, you know, get on Jenny Craig or something, but all I'm going to say is you want to eat some fruit, you know. Fruit, I've noticed, is something that's a really good natural energy source, and uh, if you eat a lot of berries and apples and stuff like that, it'll really help you out a lot. Uh, get something to drink. Now, I'm not talking about alcohol and things like that. Obviously, that's not going to help you at all if you're, you know, drunk and trying to work. What you need is, you know, I'm not saying caffeine is great, but I'm not saying it's bad either. You know, uh, there's a reason why there's a coffee machine in all these workplaces. Um, green tea is also good, you know, but don't overdo it. You don't need to have 40 cups of coffee and, um, you know, go on a caffeine rush and then crash within a couple hours, you know, that's not going to do you any good, but, um, you know, coffee, green tea, I definitely recommend green tea especially, green tea will help you out, and uh, it will give you some energy while um, still being healthy for you. Uh, take a break, you know, you don't, you're not supposed to really stare at a computer screen for, you know, hours and hours at a time, you need to get up, walk around, you know, maybe get some lunch. Or, uh, you know, maybe do your laundry real quick, come back and get some more work done. Uh, whatever you got to do, just take a break and get your mind off it for a little bit. If, you buy, if your mind stays fresh, you'll get more work done. And then have a to-do list. This is the last thing. Um, one thing that will really help you is if you organize things onto a list of what you need to get done that day. And then you put the high priority stuff first so that you will remember to uh, get it out of the way. And uh, once you get the, the best, the hardest stuff out of the way, your mind is really in a state of positivity because you're looking forward to doing the easy stuff the rest of the day. And, uh, and instead of, you know, having to be scatterbrained and f try to think, now what was I supposed to do today, you know? then uh, just write it down, put it on a to-do list, Do you even have apps for that, so that'll help you out a lot, and uh, always do the hardest stuff, the most important money-making tasks first, and then uh, you can look forward to an easier day the rest of the day. So that's about it as far as this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. hope you have a great day, and I hope you got a lot of value from it. Have a good one.